We haven't gone down to check on our field plots in a while, and there's a few things we need to do. I gotta get down there and clean up the weeds, and you can probably guess what I'm gonna do with this barrel. We've just gotta get all this stuff down the hill, and we'll join you at the other end. Are you gonna roll it? <laughs> just roll it down. I'm so tempted. Probably gonna fly off. Let's go. Ready? Okay. There you go. See you at the other end. That's not too bad. And that. Oh, that, oh, oh, uh, oh. Oh. That, there. Yeah, that's not all the way. <laughs> It's gone all the way off the mountain. <laughs> well, we made it down here. Now we have to see how the plants are doing. Carefully down the slope. <laughs> it's quite steep. You're like you could you could just slide. All the way down. All right. Where should we go first? Let's go in here. Check the okra. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. These ones are little. They get bigger further on. Oh, okay. I see some uh, buds, flower buds, it looks like. I saw some pods as I was oh, walking. Hey, yeah. look, look, look. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's great. Ready to go. So that's ready to eat, huh? Fortunately, this is Clemson spineless. Just looks fuzzy. <sighs> Should have brought some nippers. Hmm. Do you want to break off with Do one? Do you want me hand? to try? Yeah. Oh, I have one in too. Do them without damaging it. No. You need a pair of nippers. All right. We definitely need to do some weeding. Luckily, we brought the hose. And only, I mean, it's been what, two, three weeks since we've done anything down here and the jungle is taking over. Well, we, yes, but you know, it's, it's been raining, so it's not like we've had to water, but uh, they definitely need a good weeding. Thankfully, the hose will uh, make light, quick work of it, really. It's a trek to come down here down the slope, so. It's not like you want to do this every day. Yeah, this is not zone one or zone two by permaculture standards. This is like right. zone four out here. It's it's too far from where we're actually paying attention. This yeah. is not where you want to put your garden. Right. No, you want to you want to keep your garden real close to your house so that you can tend it uh, and you can harvest its bounty quickly. And uh, otherwise, you forget about it and you don't weed it. And then you miss your, your produce, too, because animals will get it. Which reminds me, we need to check on the cucumbers. Ooh, yeah. The yams are looking very nice. They're climbing the sticks I put in for them. These are the mung beans that I planted. I planted them just to kind of fill in the ground and give us some nitrogen in these beds. And they're doing it. I left my metal creature broad fork down here for a little while and the yams have claimed it. Cassava. Boy. I think we planted too much okra. We might. 
Now we have all these beds right here, but down here is where the cucumbers are, and I want to go check on them. We just sort of garden where there was space and where it was relatively clear. It's a good thing too because the brush has started to grow really quickly since the rainy season has kicked in about two months ago, right around the time we planted. I'm sure we've got some cucumbers now. The poor cucumbers, I really didn't take good care of them. <laughs> it's a big freaky one, look at that. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're supposed to look like this. It's the, uh, it's the variety. It's not that I didn't take very good care of them. No, it's just the, just the variety. Another gnarly one. I mean, beautiful specimen of this particular interesting heirloom. Look, this is why you plant your stuff next to your house and not somewhere in the jungle. They're actually surrounded by nettles. This is a tropical nettle. It's everywhere. It's very healthy. You can eat it. Um, but it's not pleasant for picking cucumbers. It's a moderately decent one. Oh, that's not too bad. I've already gotten stung by the nettles. That's the way we roll. Wow, see my cucumbers, this was bad. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Do not plant your cucumbers in the bush far off at the bottom of a hill where you're not gonna see them for a week or two because you get tied up in a 30 day YouTube challenge. Just, just don't do that. I mean, you could do a 30 day YouTube challenge, but make sure your cucumbers are really close to the house so you can pick in between all your editing. Oh man. Yeah, see, they're all gonna do this little funny thing, I think. Could've used some food earlier on too. Silly, silly cucumbers. Well, maybe they'll leave seeds everywhere and then they'll naturalize. That's a nice way to look at it. That's another little one there. Uh, yeah, this is not the way to do it, folks. I think I'm gonna go up and help hoe the okra. Oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> There it is. Just step uphill to the bed. Yeah. There we go. Looks better than the cucumbers. Tune in next time for the Okra Hunter on BBC Three. Oh. He's here. They go through the leaves? Are they yeah, on the back side? They're a leaf gall. Oh. I've not seen that on cassava before. No. This is where you're supposed to grow cassava, not Florida. Look down there, too. Yeah. Huh. Is it on the plant or anything? I don't know. Oh, look. 
on the on the white cassava they're white, and on the red stem cassava they're they're oh, red. Interesting. These barrels came from a rum distillery, and uh, when we first got them, they still had some rum left in the bottom, but I took care of that. I'm gonna take the top off of this thing so I can open it up and throw in all the weeds and stuff that we're gonna make our uh, weed tea, compost tea out of. I have a pruning saw a silky gomboy, which is my favorite pruning saw. It's kind of overkill for this, and I don't know if it's really going to work on the plastic, but I'm going to give it a try. No, it's not going to work. Not gonna work. All right, I've been messing with this for a while and obviously this is the wrong tool. It's a very good pruning saw. It's not good for cutting through plastic. I wish I had a jigsaw. I actually do have a jigsaw, but I left it behind when I moved here and uh, I just have hardly any tools anymore. I used to have all kinds of great power tools. Now I'm down to a few uh, horticultural tools that I just had to bring with me, and I'm just gonna give up on this barrel for now and come back to it later. I think it'll be better served by uh, hoeing some okra. I'm doing the pigeon peas now, kind of clearing them out. The uh, brush has started to take over, which is what happens in the rainy season, so I've been told. Not everything always works out in the garden. As much as I would have liked to have come down here and seen beautiful cucumbers and get that barrel going today and everything, well, doesn't happen. But we keep trying, that's life. Pigeon peas are gonna be coming in soon, the okra's working. All the stuff up near the house that we've been pay paying close attention to is doing fine, so the, uh, the setbacks, that's the way it goes. You just keep planting. And again, maybe those cucumbers will just naturalize. They'll become like a jungle cucumber. Maybe, it could happen. Oh, I just knocked down a pigeon pea. Well, not our finest hour. We got some hoeing done. Um, how many plants did you kill hoeing? Um, uh, you the ones I was supposed to, the ones I... <laughs> <laughs> you want me to go first? All right. I, I killed one okra and one pigeon pea with the grape hoe. I pulled out one yam accidentally by hand, but I... You re pulled out one of my yams? You killed one of my pigeon peas. <laughs> But I replanted it. It was an accident. I don't know if he's gonna leave it in the video. You can see me pull it out, look at the camera, be like, uh oh. And replant it. I don't know if he's gonna leave it in or not. I, I put mine in a shallow grave. <laughs> oh well. Catch up with you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, find me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. Until next time, keep failing. Looks, <laughs> looks sad. I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you see it? Look at it's all smashed down. I told you I heard something out here last night, something heavy. That could be anything. No, look. Something just came through and crushed it. Just totally smashed it out. Probably a sheep was lying here. Yeah, and then it got eaten. But that's silly. There's nothing here to, I mean, how could it get, there's nothing here. Oh, there's something here. There's something here. No, you're just 